Hi, this is Raj. Welcome back to the ETL specialization course on SAD type 2. As part of this session, we are going to cover what is SAD type 2, the demo use cases involved in this session, and the demo part. So what is SAD type 2? If the history of a slowly changing dimension is captured over time, instead of overwriting the earlier values, then such a dimension is called type 2 slowly changing dimension. For more details on what is SCD or slowly changing dimension, refer to my video or course on slowly changing dimension. The type 2 slowly changing dimension preserves its history by adding a new row to the dimension table whenever there is a change involved in dimensional attributes. This is to reflect the current situation which happens on the dimension attributes. Therefore, the same dimension is claimed to have different versions and all are tied together by a common business key which is a unique key from the source system. This unique key is also termed as natural key or the surrogate key or primary key of the source system. What are the demo use cases which we are going to cover as part of this demo? So this segment has been classified into two sections based on the complexities involved. So the first session on demo would be a simple use case where the scenario would be like this. When the dimension table depends only on one source table. So this in further divided into two parts. The first part being the source table is deleted with the record physically. And remember this is not a soft delete. So delete detection is not possible in this case and we will see how and why. And as part of part 2, we will see the source table is deleted with the record but it has a flag named as if deleted to mark the deleted record. So in this case, the delete detection would be possible as part of this SRE type 2 handling. Then moving on over to a complex use case, here we have two parts again. The, with the first part indicating the dimension table depends on multiple source table. However, only one source table containing a timestamp field. Whereas the other source table among the two doesn't have a timestamp field. And part two will be of an exercise type where consider a case where the dimension table depends on multiple source tables with all the source tables containing timestamp field. So these are the different use cases which is going to be covered as part of this session except the part 2 which is going to be an exercise for the viewers. So without further delay let's move on to the demo session. 